Welcome back. So I'm still just continuing on the list of uh, remaining things that need to be done before the test pilots come out. And so this is one of them. Just um, putting that rubber hose there around those um, gear braided lines there for the hydraulics for the gear system because they're going through uh, an opening in that carbon fiber um, bulkhead there. So this is just sort of protecting them so they don't cut into the carbon fiber or vice versa. So that's that job done. And the next thing was these bolts that were holding the nose gear doors on. Uh, because of how tight quarters it is around them, it was very difficult for me to even try and um, get a wrench onto those and tighten those up. So I decided just to switch them out um, for some clevis pins. And you can see I've put this one in already. I haven't put the washer and cotter pin on the other side of it yet. But anyway, I'm changing those out. And so this is what it looks like um, now that they're all done it didn't take that long so those are much easier to get in and then um, you know just put a washer on the end and the cotter pin through there and you know if, if you saw that one in the mirror of reflection there you could see how the cotter pins in there and just looking down there there you can see how that one's done uh, anyway so that sort of solves uh, that little issue and not, don't have to worry about those coming out and as promised last time, I said I was going to get the aircraft out and fire up the engine because it hasn't been run since I think it was the 16th of December, so almost three months actually. That's a long time. Uh, but you know, as you know, I've had things that needed to be fixed, so I wasn't able to run it. But anyway, um, took it out, and because the you know battery hadn't been on charge or anything like that in this amount of time, it was a little bit low and uh, just enough to crank it over uh, but not enough to really get it going because it needs to come up to about sort of 300 and something rpm before it'll actually fire and it was sort of only cranking around about just over 100 rpm so needless to say i had to go and uh, bring my car around and jump it again uh, but after having done that it fired up uh, right away and and so i let it run for quite a while and while that was happening as you'll see here in a little bit, I went and uh, uh, updated the databases. So as you can see there, just uh, some white smoke coming out, which is uh, diesel fuel that's just not burning um, because it's not getting hot enough to uh, ignite, I guess. And uh, yeah, so as I said, just pulled my car around. I'm used to doing that and uh, got it fired up uh, by jumping it but as you can see I'm going to try again here yeah it just wasn't having it so I did try about three times to start it and I didn't didn't want to just destroy the battery again so just went and jumped in and fired right up So while that was going on, I figured it was a good time just to let it run for a while and let it um, put some more charge in the battery. And uh, while that was happening, as I said, I had the database updates for the avionics uh, on the SD cards. So I put those in and allowed those to update while it was charging. Uh, so that's done as well. And then, of course, before I fired everything up, I checked the oil and I uh, topped up the coolant level and um, just did a few other little checks around the engine on everything. You can see I've got clamps there on the ailerons because it was gusting to 35 miles an hour out there today and it was just blowing the ailerons around as you can imagine because the wind was coming from the, the tail end of the aircraft here over the top of the hangar. So I just put some clamps on there so they weren't blowing around because I don't have a control lock at this point. Um, for locking the ailerons, it's something I need to sort out. And for anybody wondering, yeah, I'm out of the aircraft. I've got the the um, park brake on, but also too that um, the tow rig there is locked in reverse there, so it acts as a brake as well. So it's not going to go anywhere. And as you can see here, there I'm updating the databases on that uh, G3X, and there's the engine stuff running there, so everything was looking good didn't have any issues with the engine really other than just the battery not having enough to start it so that's pretty much uh, 
it for this update and I'm um, not sure what's going to happen next. I only have a few things to do and it's two more weeks here before the guys come out to fly it. But uh, yeah, I'll, a couple more little jobs to do I guess and uh, clean the aircraft a little bit and we'll go from there. So that's the update for this week. Thanks again for watching and tune in again sometime next week.